Christianity, then you have any the same religion as the world has. It makes no difference. And Paul was so passionate with the gospel. Everything is about the gospel. That's why in verse 27 he says, Live in a manner worthy of what? Worthy of the gospel of Christ. That's why he wrote this letter, right? It is because they were not living in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. That they were fighting. Thus, they were not living in a manner worthy. And he says, I thank God because you parted with me in the furtherance of the gospel. When, when, um, when the church in Philippi believed in the message of the gospel, they entered into a partnership with Paul. They entered into a partnership in promoting and declaring the gospel to all parts of the world. All church should be focused on the gospel. All individual, your life, this church should be gospel-centric. Because if it is not gospel-centric, if it's not focused on Christ, then this is just a glorified group. A glorified country club, a social club. Our friendship, our fellowship should be revolving around Christ. Christ should be the center. The gospel should be the center. And Paul was thanking God because he sees in the life of the Philippians how gospel-centric they are. How they try to spread the gospel and how they try to participate in, in giving and supporting Paul so that Paul also could spread the gospel. It was a lifelong partnership. We need one another to carry each other's burden, to carry each other and push each other to the great commission that God has given us. Realize this. There is no greater business in the world than the business of the gospel. There's none. There is no higher calling than that of a calling to go forth and make disciples. There's no righteous act, at least in my view, than you sitting down with a friend and with a stranger and telling them about Christ and the gospel. No greater work. No higher aspirations. Any aspiration falls in comparison. And if we look into our mind, we will see how deceived we are. By the amount of time we spent in doing this greatest endeavor. Store up treasures in heaven. How? By proclaiming the gospel. Do we believe that? Is that truth a reality in our life? Unless we make our life gospel-centric, believe me, we're just wasting it. Like the rest of the world. We're just throwing our lives to things and pleasure, to distractions. Where your time is spent, where your money is spent, is where your heart is. Is it in the gospel? Is it promoting the gospel? And as Paul was looking at the lives of the Philippians and seeing them to be a gospel-centric church, he says, God, thank Honestly, if I meet somebody, I'll, I'll be blessed.
we should be the same. Every word spoken, every deed done, every moment, every conversation should include, should be focused, should be directed. Diba sabi? What does it profit a man? Really? What, the, what does it really profit a man? If, if that man can really own the whole world, if he can be Obama and Putin and the guy in China all rolled into one, and he becomes the richest man in the world 100 times over, what is it profiting? Really? Nothing. Nothing. And Paul was thankful because of their partnership in the furtherance of the gospel. Not one time, not for a moment, not for an epoch, but from the first day until now. How committed is that? That is what made Paul thankful for. This is what he thanks God for. This is why he is joyful. It starts with God. It ends with God. It is His work for His glory. We are His people to do it. And we tell God, I'm busy. I have better things to do. More important, Lord. That's a nice thing to do, but it's not the most lofty thing. We're deceived. It starts with God and ends with God. Our fellowship, our friendship, is for God's sake. It's for His glory. We have fellowship so that the gospel might move forward. The question I have is, are we partnering with Paul? Are we partnering with him in this endeavor? He is our brother. He started the way. Are we partnering with God? What are we waiting for? The Bible says, go forth. It's a command. Go forth and make disciples. Share the gospel and be the gospel. Basis. Pray for that. Pray that God may change our eyes, our hearts, our minds. To put what is important first. We have an awesome God. We have a marvelous message. Let's proclaim it to the world. I am not ashamed of the gospel, Paul said, for it is the power of God unto salvation to all who believe. Paul was thankful to God as he sees his, the people, his child, the church in Philippi being used by God and spreading the message of God. May we all be the same. That's the Lord. Very last song.